we are with head coach of the Green Bay Packers and the the face of Bell and Healthcare, I do believe, still, yes? <laughs> those amazing commercials. You're great in those, They coach. are amazing, aren't they? <laughs> wait, till, wait till you see the new ones coming out. Are there new ones? Yeah, I'm in there with Tucker and Luke Musgrave, and that You're was actually pretty fun to do. Really? They, they, oh, they, those guys, it was... They're quite the characters. Are you getting more comfortable doing the commercial stuff? Yeah, I'd say so. It's yeah. just like it's reps, right? Yeah. Everything in life. I Breaking news. There's new ones coming your way, Green Bay Packer fans. Uh, so I get here to practice. I'm trying to f keep up with what's going on, and you're just running like a halftime show. Like there's like things changing every two You did like a, a, a two-hour, two-minute drill today. What's with the tempo, Coach? Uh, we're always trying to change the stimulus so to speak and put the guys in different situations to see how they react and um yeah it's every day we have a something new for them i'm going camp to camp i'm trying to uh you know figure out what the big questions are what is it like to ha have the quarterback spot not be one for you oh it, it's relief um you know just it was a painful couple days but i i figured something was going to happen sooner than later and uh, it was just good to get him back out here. Obviously, you know, with the quarterback position, that it takes on a natural leadership position. And when you're missing your guy, you know, it, things aren't as maybe urgent as you'd like them to be. And so when he got done and got back out here, uh, you could tell it, just feel a difference in the energy. Mm. Urgent is the word, sort of. Is that, or, or would you agree with that? Or is there a different word that sort of defines your camp or your last six months? I feel like even just watching practice, you wanted to get the deal done. I loved last year, and I, I have a lot of Packers, you know, fans in my life, and they're like, "House money, this was great." I'm like, "No, that's not it. There's a window." And I loved your like presser at the end of the year, where you're like, "We gotta go." Urgency seems to be the, the word. Yeah, I think that's in our business. I think if you relax for one second, people are passing you by, and you got to work each and every day to be your best. And you know, that's the thing that you got to be most mindful of. I think because it's easy to get consumed and, and caught up in the day to day, and just not having the end goal in mind but like you have got to work every day to improve because there's somebody else out there that's doing that so preseason action is here you don't have a question about your quarterback what's the next question that you need to answer through these uh next couple of days well i i just think you know throughout the course of training camp you're kind of forging your identity who you're going to be and it's going to be great to see some of these guys uh get into real life game action and see how they respond uh, certainly there's a lot of position battles that are still up for grabs and you're you're trying to round out your 53 man roster um so there's a lot of competitiveness that we're looking to see from from our guys and um you know we're going to play our guys too and in, in at least in two of the three preseason games if not, if not more we'll see um you know but i i would assume most of those guys are going to be I'm not assuming. Most <laughs> of those guys are going to be playing versus the Cleveland Browns. You say that so confidently. Is it like a hard decision to come to, or do you just know? Is it a, you know? Does it keep you up at night? Reps and risk. Yeah, I, I, certainly the risk is something that bothers you because if something bad were to happen, I mean, it's a kick in the gut. But I just think what we learned going through it last year was the first time we really played most of our guys in the preseason. Uh, I thought it certainly benefited us in week one. Um, I think there's something to just the whole process of getting ready to go play a, a physical game. And um, lucky for us, we've got three different time slots to get these guys so they know their rhythm for that day. We got a noon kick, we got a four, 4.30 kick, and we got a, a nighttime kick, an eight o'clock kick or whatever it is. So I think it's just a, a great opportunity for those guys to you know, get mentally prepared for those time slots because that's, that's when we play throughout yeah. the course of the season. You know, obviously week one in Brazil, we're, it's a nighttime kickoff. Wild. And then we have a bunch of noon kicks after that. So I think it's just good for those guys to go through that process. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for your questions to get answered. There's so many stars. There's so many, uh, everybody, you know, the receiver room's amazing. There's all this selflessness going on. Jordan Love's really impressive from a leadership standpoint, obviously what we know we can do on the field. What was the one play? And I want like a really specific play that you that that earned him that contract that you said absolutely all in was there one uh, well, there was multiple plays but I would say the most impressive play that I saw him last year was when we were playing Dallas uh, they presented a look of all out all out pressure he changed the protection left the routes on and he hit wicks for the touchdown and it was 
it was quite similar to another play earlier in the year when mm -hmm. we were playing the Chiefs and he had Christian Watson over the top on what we call a Skinner route. But, um, yeah, he, he had a lot of great plays, but I would say just in that moment to be able to have, um, you know, the urgency and being able to think clearly mm -hmm. in a high-pressure situation and go out there and execute, I think that was big time. Last one for you. You have the Rams this year, your brother, of course. What's it going to be like? What's it going to mean to you to face him for the last time since we all know what happens? He's going to be head coach there the next year. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'll probably throw him like I always do in a headlock before the game. Um, no, it's always fun going against your 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 buddies. Obviously, Sean and I are, yeah, mm -hmm. are like brothers as well, but um, – you know, I think I don't know what our series record is right now. I'm gonna have to look that up afterwards. But I feel like he's got a he's got a few on me head to head. So we gotta make sure we even it out a little bit. I think it's the last one. I think he's gonna be a head coach, and then it'll be a nice little rivalry uh, for our NFL coach. Thank you for the time. Appreciate you always, uh, and good luck this year. Thanks, Kay. Appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be back after this.